Hello, this is Kiki. Uh, this is Conflict Revisited, uh, Part 1A. Uh, basically, what I felt before was that I kind of uh, rage quit a little too quickly and I didn't understand how to play the game. Uh, so I figured I would do give it another fair shot because it did look good when I first played it, but I kind of failed at explaining it and I made it look a lot harder than what it is. So we're going to go ahead and revisit the uh, first mission and uh, hopefully win this time. Uh, basically, it's similar, like I said before, uh, you have fame points. Uh, your fame level determines how many points you have at the beginning and every time no matter what version, the enemy has uh, more fame points than you. Uh, also, fame points affect how many, I mean, what kind of units you can make. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, you can have zero fame points and still keep playing. The main goal of the game is to uh, destroy the enemy's uh, uh, HQ or uh, flag tank marked by that H. Uh, it's also the always the most expensive unit in the game, so uh, which is like M1 A1 tank. Uh, which can be annoying at times. Uh, basically for this first map here you the enemy focuses on air power, so you have to kind of uh, sm submit his air power with uh, M48s. Uh, he also he sends out fighters, uh, and basically, like I said before, this is kind of like a Cold War version. Uh, they you, they use Russian equipment, and you use uh, American equipment, and also uh, the Russian and the American equipment both have different stats for some of their units, and some of them are the same. Like fuel trucks are the same stats. Uh, the helicopters are different stats. The uh, Airplanes are different stats. Uh, also, uh, like I said before, I finally got somewhat understand the combat system. So this is what uh, this line of videos is about: is to uh, basically undo my mess up of complaining about how hard the combat system is. But also. Uh, I mean, it went for realism, which is what I liked, and I really didn't do the game too much justice before uh, when I was complaining about how hard the combat system was and how unfair it was. It actually is a bit fair. It's just that I was fail. Uh... Also, uh, like I said, I do want to apologize for the uh, fail video uh, for that first one. Uh, basically, uh, to explain the compare and contrast series again, uh, basically what this is, is I take games that were from the past and I compare them to uh, more recent and uh, more modern popular games. Uh, that I kind of feel have like a similar feel to it and yet a different spin off to it. Uh, also, I might be comparing old games to old games, uh, or I might be comp comparing uh, oldish games to middleish games or whatnot. But basically, it's just kind of a comparison of uh, what kind of things that game designers made that works and don't doesn't work and f makes you feel like oh why did they do it or coolness anyway this is the battle battle screen uh, as you notice the uh, truck here is facing directly in front like I see his uh, see his engine and his front stuff that means that he's right in front of me uh, and basically he also sees my uh, pi you know, my helicopter cockpit so that means that uh, he's right in front of me so basically we're in front of each other. Now what you want to try to do is kind of think of it as a as a 2D, 3D type of thing. It's kind of weird and tricky that way. 
Uh, but once you play it for a while, it does make sense uh, to some extent. Uh, basically, the appearance of the, what appears up, up top uh, is how they see you and how you see them. Uh, best way to describe it is like if you see the side of side of a car or an airplane, that means that you're on the side of it. Uh, you're not in front of it. If you're seeing the back of it, that means you're behind it. If it's not there at all, that means you don't see it. It's pretty obvious. Uh, but like I said before, I, I kind of was a little too harsh before, and it actually does make sense. And uh, there won't be uh, too many hard battles until later on. Uh, but uh, like I said before, I didn't like how the other videos came out, and that's why I posted and deleted some videos uh, for those who are my subscribers and uh, like I said I didn't like the quality so this is kind of like a revisit of it and to uh, see if I can do a little bit better job explaining it hopefully I do the task and this will be the end of uh, part one of uh, conflict revisited uh, Kinky signing out uh, thank you.